Now the race is on and the finishing line is Christmas Eve with all the other things that you have to do. What are the last minute beauty and cosmetic treatments that can improve your looks as well as your spirits for the festive season? Dr. Francis Pitsillis is back with all of the answers. Good morning Francis. Morning Mel. Let's start with the most inexpensive treatments that can really make a difference. Well the easiest thing that you can do is go and have your eyebrows tidied. Uh, you can have some uh, threading and ladies you can also have uh, your face done as well with the threading just the odd really? straight oh yeah it's really good they can just go <laughs> and uh, so that's quite good and not expensive you can have a manicure and a pedicure and that would make you feel really good mm -hmm. so there are lots of little things that can just yeah. tidy things up a little oh, bit oh yes and a spray tan oh a spray now, tan now that's inexpensive you know i've never had one of those i might no, have to neither, try it neither have i well you you really <laughs> don't need it uh what about the moderately priced treatments well then you're looking at botox aren't you because although you're paying a bit more everyone's doing it now it's like makeup mm -hmm. really honestly you can't tell people are having it but they are um and it's such good value for what you get okay and you get those sort of sort of elimination of the lines we're looking Yes. Online there. Right. yes, well it's particularly, these are stock photos um, from the internet and particularly popular for the frown line. Grandmothers even have it because they don't want the children to say why are you frown frowning gran. Yeah. That's just mummy's default setting. Mummy's happy. Yes. But mummy's just yes. got the so frown So it would just freshen you up a little bit. Okay, so mm. Botox would be in the moderately priced mm. treatments. Let's move up then to the higher priced mm. treatments uh, that are going to really give us a wow factor. What's, what's available? Well the big wow factor is from dermal fillers, isn't it? Because you you can lift the face, you can improve the jowl, you can improve the lips and just give them a bit more volume like they used to be or perhaps improve some of the lines around the mouth and these days with the modern techniques um, you know you, you don't get that much bruising. And that lasts for a lot longer? Yes, 6 to 12 months and if you top it up it'll go for 18 months. So if you go in fairly soon you'll be radiant for the holidays. I feel like you're talking to me, Francis. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, what about veins and stretch marks? Now, this is important. If you've got little veins on your face, you can do those now, because they'll get better in a mm -hmm. few days. Little veins on the legs, six weeks. Big veins, forget it. Leave it till winter, because you have to wear support wear for that. Right, okay, so don't be doing that right no, before you want to get into your No, togs. it's too late. Leave that. So what other treatments should we be thinking about leaving? Maybe it's a little bit late for leaving yes. until next year. Anything that takes time to work well. If you have your first vampire facial now, you'll only get an effect within three or four weeks and then you need two more. Any sort of course of treatment like fractionated laser, several IPLs for facial rejuvenation, uh, if you need a lot, leave it till the new year. But if you only want to clean up a little bit of facial pigment, you've still got time now to have one facial IPL rejuvenation. Okay, that gives us something to think about. Thank yeah. you so much, Francis. Pleasure. Now, for more for, from uh, Dr. Francis, go to skinfresh.co.nz.